okay, what is the oldest place you've ever been in? What do you do when a wasp comes at you? And do you think you could live in the woods for the rest of your life? When a wasp comes near me, I just kind of shoo it away. Um, I've been stung before. It's no biggie. It's uncomfortable, but it's no biggie. I'm not allergic, so I don't know. I just kind of brush it away. And it, they usually go away. If they are persistent, then I um, try to get in the house or you know inside somewhere just to get away from it for a while, and it usually goes away. Um, the oldest place I've ever been in, I guess that would probably be some of the colonial sites on uh, the East Coast. The oldest, I don't know. Um, like I've been to Williamsburg, um, Carter's Grove, some of the James River plantations. Um, I think, I think those would be like the oldest structures I've been to. I'm trying to, th well, maybe not, because out west I've been to like Mesa Verde. And I'm trying to think, I'm pretty sure Mesa Verde predates colonial America. So that would be even older. It's a good question. I'm not exactly sure which was the oldest, but those are some of the oldies that I've been to. And then the last question, um, could I live in the forest for the rest of my life? Could I? That's the question. It's not would I, but could I? Yeah. Well, okay, if we're talking about, like Jasmine said, where she would have Wi-Fi, and <laughs> what, what, what else was there? She was, like, living uh, in her house, but in the middle of the woods. Then, yes, oh, definitely, of course, I would love to have a house in the middle of woods. I mean, that is my dream. I would love that. But also to have air conditioning when it's too hot, running water, hot and cold. <laughs> sure. Um, but, you know, saying, can you just go out there like naked and afraid, that TV show? No. Um, I like to get away from the bugs. Um, I like to get in out of the weather every once in a while. So it would depend on the amenities. But I love nature, and I would love to be surrounded by wilderness and woods. If I could live in relative comfort. <laughs> okay, thank you for the tag questions, Jasmine. And uh, if anybody wants to answer my questions, feel free. And... Um, I guess that's about it. Starting from now, the weather is supposed to turn really nice. It's supposed to be in the 70s and 60s. Um, and I, I, I'm kind of going bonsai crazy. I am trying to bonsai. Of course, I have... I have um, okay, my plants consist of, houseplant-wise, the Mari Mobile, which is still alive, and my two ferns, uh, the Boston Fern, Fluffy Ruffles, and the Maidenhair Fern. The two Juniper Bonsais, one creeping and one um, informal upright. And now I'm trying to bonsai a sucker off of a root from our, our sweet gum tree in the front yard. That's when I just started to, to bonsai today. I don't know if it's going to survive or last, but... I thought, you know, if there ever comes a day when I move away, I'll have a have a, a part of that tree for home to take with me wherever I go. Anyway, I don't want this to be too long. Talk later. Bye.